Today, we're looking for some hidden pictures in our drawing. Let's be honest, that's not at all how this started out. Um, I love trying new things, but I'm not real big on surprises. So I was trying to push myself just a little bit to be more spontaneous. So I just got myself out a piece of painted paper and a blue marker and started having some fun. I had no idea what I was doing here and I kind of fell back on an old quilt making pattern which is those curvy lines that really never cross. It's called a meander. And I, since I had started out with a couple of motifs, I was trying to mimic those around the page. And I started feeling like I was making a treasure map. So I wasn't sure that I was really excited about where this was going. And as I did more and more, it started feeling like science class. Like I was drawing a picture of the digestive system or something like that. So. I wasn't super excited about how this was going, but I kept pushing myself because, hey, I was having fun drawing the patterns. I wasn't real sure what the outcome was going to be, but we just kept going and had some fun. Now, if you stick around to the end, we're going to take the outcome of this artwork and turn it into a fun little story. Now, I have to tell you, the idea of being spontaneous came from a couple of channels I watch regularly. Trove Arts and Graysaurus are both great sources for um, unique and interesting art and they tend to do a lot of spontaneous things so there I am trying to figure out what am I going to do with this drawing and it ended up being an experiment in what do you see in the clouds and I eventually started seeing things. So the first thing I'm tracing here, that's the snout of a dog. There's his eye, there's his ear, and I drew his tail a minute ago. So, and now I see a dinosaur. And that's his hand or claw, and those are his feet. And they wrap around right, sitting right on top of the puppy dog. He even has some little spikes on his back. his eye so he, he needed a he needed a friend so over here we have Mr. Crocodile and this is just his head he's really big and this is I was trying to say that's his body coming up behind him he's sticking his tongue out right here and then, of course, there's a little toy car down here in the corner. So I didn't think you could see it good enough, so I went back over it with a thicker pen. There's our car. Here's Mr. Dinosaur. So, you know, even if it doesn't turn out to be a beautiful piece of art that you love, you can still have fun with it and create something unique. So even with a thicker black, I didn't think you could see it good enough, so we're going to go around it uh, with our white pen, and now I think you can see them a little better. actually really surprised that I did end up seeing so many different things in my drawing when it was all said and done and I just couldn't stand it. I had to cut them out. And after I get them cut out, we're going to tell a story. Once there was a friendly dinosaur. He had a pet dog. One day, they went over to visit their friend, Mr. Crocodile. Hi, Mr. Crocodile. Mr. Crocodile had a new toy car. So Crocodile and Dinosaur played with the car all afternoon, and then it was time for Dinosaur and his dog to go home. If you stuck with me this far, I sure do appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching.